We are looking at the summation sign, which is sigma, and that is the symbol that we use. And we want to see how to use it, and we want to look at uh, some examples. We are told that uh, x is equals to 1, 3, and 5. And then somebody says sum x. It basically means you need to add 1 plus 3 plus 5, and that will give you 9. Now, sometimes we may work in a different approach of things. In the sense that if you look at this x, it has three values. So we can refer to this as x1, x2, and x3. So you could also find this notation being used. Because there are three of them, I can say is equals to n. Where n is the number of values, n is equals to 3. And this is the number of values. There are three of them. So of xi. So it will be x1 plus x2 plus x3, which is the same as 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equals to 9. So that is the summation sign. And uh, you can use it for various activities. For example, using the same values, somebody maybe says find summation of x squared. So it will be 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared which will be 1 plus 9 plus 25, and that will be 35. We could also as well say, let's get the summation of x minus 1 squared. Do we square x and then we subtract 1? No. For each value of x, we reduce it by 1. So it will be 1 minus 1 squared plus 3 minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 1 squared. And this is 0 plus 2 squared is 4, plus 4 squared is 16, and the value will be 20. So you have to look thinly on what is expressed. That will be very different if we had written this. Summation of x squared minus 1. We are squaring x, which is 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared, and then you subtract 1. And we saw this is 35 minus 1, which is 34. You can see already the difference between part C and D. The difference is the brackets that have been used. That makes a totally different scenario for us. And it's good to keep this in mind so that you know what you are doing when we are dealing with the summation sign. I could give you other examples. For example... I tell you to find the summation of 2x. This, I can also write it as 2 summation of x. And what does that mean? It means I can put 2 outside. I just sum x. And this will give me 9 times 2, which is 18. It does not differ if I was to multiply every value. I could have also done the same. I multiply 2 with 1, and then I multiply 3 with 2, and then I multiply 2 with 5. So it will be 2 plus 6 plus 10. It will still give me the same answer. Why is the same answer? Because 2 is a constant, and therefore nothing much changes when I put it out or I multiply with it directly. So it is x, for example, minus 2 divided by 3. So what is divided by 3? So I can put 3 outside as a fraction. And then I say x minus 2. So it's 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 plus 5 minus 2. And that's the equation that we have because everything is being divided by 3. Therefore, I'll put a third outside. 2 minus 1 is negative 1 plus 1 plus 3, which will be a third times 3 is equals to 1. So this should give you an idea of what we mean when we say that uh, we are using the summation sign. So whenever you see this symbol, you look for the values that have been given, the values of x, the numbers that you've been given. And then, basically, you are going to do the summation of them. 
So whatever operation that you've been given, maybe you've been told sum x and divide by a number like 4. So it will be 1 plus 5 plus 10 plus 15 divided by 4, which will be that 1 over 4. So that's the steps you take when you're dealing with the summation sign.